Welcome to lesson 12. This is multiplying by one digit numbers. And as you know, multiplication is a shortcut for addition. So instead of adding a number multiple times, you can multiply it. So this number right here, $6.92 times 4. Instead of adding $6.92 plus $6.92 plus $6.92 plus $6.92, you can just multiply it times 4 as a shortcut. Now when you do multiplication, you're going to want to multiply it to each place value. Yesterday we talked about place value, and when you multiply, you'll be multiplying the bottom single digit number times the ones column, then times the tens column, then times the hundreds column. And this pattern repeats as long as the number goes. Okay? Because 7 times 359 is like saying 7 three hundreds, seven fifties, and seven nines, and then adding it all together. Okay? So let's practice on this one. First step, seven times the nine. Seven times nine is sixty-three. The way you label that, some students like thinking it's sixty-three and they start up here and put sixty-three. Okay? So the number stays in order, sixty-three. Other students maybe get in the habit of doing it backwards. Sixty-three, three, six. Okay. Either one's okay, as long as the number 63 is written there. Okay. Then you go on to the tens. Okay. 7 times 5 is 35. You multiply the first number, then you add the extra. Okay. So 7 times 5 is 35, plus 6 is 41. So you place a 1, 4, 41. Okay. And sometimes you put a little plus if it helps you remember. 3 times 7 now you go to the hundreds, is 21, plus 4 is 25, you place the 5 here, and then the 2 would go up to the next column, there's nothing there, so it just falls down. So 2,513. Okay. Let's try uh, one with a dollar sign here. It's very similar, it just has a decimal in it. So let's multiply that out. 4 times this first column, the 1's column is 8. 4 times 9 is 36. 36. 4 times the hundreds column is 24. 25, 26, 27. As we've learned on the other one, the number just falls right down. Okay? That's 2,768. However, there's a dollar sign. So let's place that because we're talking about money. So we need to label it. And then there's a decimal. Now, in money, the number well, um, the decimal will just, sorry. <laughs> in money, you want two um, numbers at the end to be the change, right? So typically, it will always go after two numbers, okay? However, um, some students think that the decimal just falls down, okay? Yes, it worked, but there's two numbers over. It's right here, it falls down, and it's in the same spot. Okay, but that is not where you always carry a decimal. So don't get in the habit of thinking the decimal just falls down, like with addition or subtraction. All right? It actually gets counted over. So if the decimal is over one, two spots, then you need the decimal over two spots. Okay? That's how you label the decimal. If it was 6.92 times 0.4, then you have one, two, three. One, two, three. This would be two point seven six eight dollars. Okay, and if it was you were dealing with someone with money at a store, you would round it and it'd be two dollars seventy seven cents. Okay, but for this answer, it was not moved over one three times. It was only moved over twenty. Okay, so twenty seven dollars and sixty eight cents is your final answer. And one last one, and I wanted to do one with a zero, just to make sure you follow the same process and you don't let it trick you. One's column, six times four is 24. Six times zero is zero, right? But then don't forget to add the two. So zero plus two is two. So just the two will come down. Seven times six is 42. 4,224. All right. Hope that um, practice was good for you, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.